Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. Well here it is, my top 10 list of my favourite movies of 2017. Um, now, I feel it was important to say that this list was my favourite movies of the year, not the best movies of the year. There'll be plenty of people doing lists like that. Um, and I'm not presumptuous to say presumptuous enough to say that all the movies on this list are the best movies of the year. These are the movies that I've enjoyed the most this year. Um, and these are the movies that um, when I watched them I got a gut reaction, really enjoyed them uh, for whatever reason. I'm sure your lists are going to be vastly different but uh, there's a lot of movies on this top 10 list that I think are tremendous movies. And there's a few of them that haven't made the list as well. I mean, if you want to check out on my channel the, the recommended movies of 2017, um, there's a lot of movies on there that aren't on this list that certainly deserve to be watched. So um, I hope you enjoy this list, and I'd love to hear your comments as to your favourite movies of the year. And thanks very much for watching. So... As other lists, um, there are some movies that didn't quite make my top 10 that I think were very, very good movies. And the first on this list is The Founder. Very, very good movie. It talks about the uh, how McDonald's came to be. Michael Keaton's fantastic in it. And if you haven't seen it, check it out. Logan. Um, again, came out early in the year. Very, very good movie. Um, the best Hugh Jackman performance as Wolverine yet on screen um, and definitely worth seeing if you haven't seen it a very very good um, Wolverine movie Wonder Woman may surprise some people here I'm not saying this isn't a very good movie I absolutely loved it it's just not managed to crack my top 10 um, I thought it was brilliantly made fantastic to see a DC movie finally getting great reviews and there's no doubt it's a good movie and Spider-Man Homecoming, again, very good movie. Loved going to the cinema to see this with my son. Um, fantastic to see Marvel being able to give us a Spider-Man um, that we all want to see. And a very, very good Spider-Man movie. So those are four movies that didn't quite make my top ten. But at number ten on my list is Split, M. Night Shyamalan's comeback film I suppose you could say I mean he'd been building up to this with the visit and things like that and this film is absolutely magnificent um, James McAvoy's performance is on another level um, and this is M. Night Shyamalan completely back on form very very good film um, tense horrifying great performances throughout and a twist at the end that if you didn't see any spoilers going into it and you're a fan of M. Night Shyamalan's movies will have absolutely blown your mind. It did mine. I absolutely love this movie and I can't wait for the sequel, Glass, which I believe they've finished filming now. So, great movie. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Number 10 on my list. At number 9, Dunkirk. I've only just seen this. I think it was last week. Um, and managed to get the review up. It took me forever to watch this. I never got a chance to go and see it at the cinema. Um, and it was one of those movies that I just... Mm, playing catch up all the time trying to watch it. Finally watched it and loved it. Christopher Nolan's a modern day cinema genius really. And he's given us another fantastic movie here. Um, very impactful. Telling the story of you know the, um, the Dunkirk beach um, escape where we have, to, we have to get our boys back from the sands of France back to the UK really beautifully made quite odd in a lot of ways there's not much dialogue there's not to speak of really it's it's a very quiet war movie but very thought provoking too great movie Christopher Nolan has done it again and it's in at number 9 on my list so in at number 8 we have Get Out, another film that was released earlier this year. I didn't see it straight away. I don't know why. I just didn't fancy it, even though it was getting good reviews. And then I managed to get to watch it, and I have to say, it absolutely blew my mind, this movie. What a good movie this is. Um, 
really really good horror movie elements of a thriller in there very uncomfortable to watch beautifully constructed by the director um is it jordan peele i think it is um very uncomfortable to watch because he sprinkles dark humor in there that makes you feel uncomfortable when you're laughing at it and that's completely the point of this movie it's made bucketfuls of money at the cinema and it so deserves to a really really fantastically crafted horror movie this and really really good if you haven't seen it get it watched number seven guardians of the galaxy volume two this is at number seven mainly for the feel good factor that i got when i watched this i went to the cinema with my son to see it we're such huge fans of the first one and there's nothing in this movie that disappointed me it as a sequel it gives you absolutely everything i suppose if you went through it and analyzed it and picked it apart yeah you but you could do that with any movie any movie on this top 10 list you could do that with i just enjoyed this movie loved it um and i could i walked out of the cinema if i walk out of the cinema with a smile on my face um and my son walks out of the cinema with a smile on his face it's done its job a movie and this absolutely did it it's funny it's exciting the effects are brilliant um, and the chemistry between the guy between the guardians is really fantastic and i thought they nailed this as a sequel um, and i can't wait to see the guardians in the infinity war next year number six thor ragnarok another movie on this list for the same reasons really as guardians of the galaxy went to the cinema to see this with my son we had an absolute blast didn't expect to enjoy this as much even though it was getting uh, as much as i did even though it was getting brilliant re brilliant reviews mainly because i'm not a huge fan of thor i wasn't a huge fan of his previous two outings even though he's been fine in the avengers movies but they actually deliver here a really fantastically fun comic book movie that is self-aware it knows what it is it pokes fun of itself and it lets you enjoy it um, and that is such a wonderful thing really um, and again yeah you could probably pick apart this movie if you chose to but i don't choose to because i had a fun time watching it and it's at number six on my list great movie marvel number five some might see this is controversial i don't star trek star trek star wars the last jedi just been to see this this weekend and loved it i have to say i really really enjoyed it um very diverse amongst the fans um some hardcore star wars fans are really pushing against this movie but i think this will stand the test of time when the dust settles i think this will be remembered as a very very good star wars movie especially when the third one comes out and you can sit and stand back and analyze them all as movies i don't think there's anything wrong with this movie yes the casino bit where finn and rose go to that casino planet probably didn't need to be in there but that's about the only real weakness I can throw at this movie. It gave me everything I wanted in the sequel. We got a badass Luke Skywalker to a point. Yes. And yeah. Nothing wrong with Star Wars The Last Jedi. You just need to take a breath and just enjoy it guys. Number four. Detroit. I only saw this a few weeks ago as well. Um, didn't manage to see this at the cinema. But what a powerful movie this is. I mean, a real powerhouse of a movie. Um, it was like getting smacked in the face when you watch this movie. It very hard to watch, but you could not take your eyes off the screen when you watch this movie. Incredible performances throughout. Um, the subject matter is gut-wrenching, but a superbly crafted movie and this this has to be an oscar contender next year it just has to be there's just too much about it really um, and this is one of those movies that people will still be watching and talking about in 15 20 years time incredible movie um if you haven't seen detroit yet please please get it watched because it, it, it is a very very impressive movie incredibly impressive number four on my list number three hacksaw ridge another film that was out earlier this year and i remember this is one of the first movies reviews that i did this year and i remember when i watched it I've, it was so impactful i felt 
so lifted when I'd finished watching it. It's such a powerful movie. An absolute comeback from Mel Gibson here. An incredible directed, uh, directed movie by Mel Gibson. The performance of Andrew Garfield is just amazing in this movie. Hands down. Um, and it manages to balance brutal war scenes with really uplifting moments in this movie and it left me feeling elated when I finished watching this movie and there's not many movies do that um, I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did but it is a truly outstanding movie Hacksaw Ridge number two it whoa great stuff this movie and I am a huge fan of the miniseries from the 90s I know it has its flaws I know it's aged a bit but Tim Curry's performance is something else and then this came out and um, I can't imagine really watching the miniseries again after watching this I can't wait for the second one um, the performance from Alexander um, it's not Alexander, it's Bill Skarsgård it? as Pennywise is just absolutely terrifying um, the performances of all the kids were, was fantastic they absolutely nail this movie thoroughly terrifying when it needs to be but very 80s and Spielbergian when, it, when um, the gang are together, the kids so absolutely love this movie what a good job they did with it and my number one Blade Runner 2049 this is the only movie that has ever got a flat out 10 out of 10 on my channel and it wasn't in debate the score in my mind and you're looking at someone who holds the first Blade Runner so highly up in esteem it's right up there as one of the best science fiction movies ever made until this one came out and this one is right up there as probably the best science fiction movie I've ever seen stunning sequel beautiful to look at it's like a work of art this movie it there's no faults with it um the length i love the story i love the direction it took i loved i would possibly have liked to have seen a little bit more jared leto's character in it but oh what a stunning movie and i remember after finished watching this i was just overjoyed because they'd done it they'd finally given us this movie it was amazing guys so that's it my top 10 movies favorite movies of 2017 some truly incredible movies on this list guys um, there are a couple of movies that I would have liked to have seen that might well have had a chance of getting on here but I haven't managed to see them yet and that's breathe and stronger um, I'm really wanting to watch those two movies and um, they look really really good and there's probably a plethora of other movies that I haven't had a chance to see this year that may well have made it onto the list too. But that's my list and I stand by it and every single movie on my top 10 favourite movies I think is a standout movie and we've had a really, really fantastic year of movies 2017. Looking forward to 2018 um, and your continued support of the channel everybody. So thank you very much for watching and have a great Christmas.